If you or someone you know loves cars, then you have to get to LeMay Auto Museum. With every car imaginable on display and interactive exhibits for kids and adults alike, two working garages within the museum walls, LeMay Auto Museum is truly America's car museum. Well, hello everybody. Today we're here in Tacoma, Washington with Scott Keller at America's Car Museum. It's true. First question I want to ask you, why Tacoma? Well, the founder was a man named Harold LeMay. who was from here, self-made um, uh, American success story. And oh, by the way, had 3,300 cars. That's it, 3,300 yeah, cars. Yeah, so wow. we had a little bit to start with here. Yeah, you but that's did. the origin was uh, Harold LeMay. Okay, and then, you know, being in Tacoma, mm -hmm. this building didn't exist, so it was purposely built for this particular endeavor. Yeah, that's a great point. Uh, we have what I would consider um, uh, an embarrassment of riches in that over 10 years and $60 million later, we wow. were able to build our own building, which houses the collection, has uh, 10 exhibits or exhibit halls, galleries, uh, two private clubs, a theater, a cafe, slot cars, racing simulators, and oh, by the way, our workshop. So, yeah, and, was, and, and, and a three and a half acre show field where we right, do outdoor. That's right, which is a big deal. Yeah, we do car shows, uh, uh, outdoor concerts, outdoor uh, driving movies, and so on. So we're nine acres here. It's really a blessing. So the car is culturally iconic, brings back yes. memories, brings back feelings, but you didn't set it up as just a museum here. It's much more. Yeah, we, um, uh, we have a lot of fun. We consider ourselves as much a, uh, an attraction as a museum. Um, and that really frames your thinking about so that we can do things like uh, we have a vintage motorcycle show here, we have a Concorde Elegance, and our own movie theater. We have slot car racing here. Um, there's so many things you can do when you, you know, kind of take the mentality of a, of a fun place to visit, more like an attraction than necessarily a museum alone. Well, let's talk about it a little more. You know you have several levels. So as you walk in, what are people going to experience? Well, one of the things we hope they're going to experience is something new every time they turn the corner. That's, that's, that's intentional. But you walk into a lobby, it's really terrific, but then as you walk into our main floor, you're going to see this huge, vast space, it's nearly a football field in length, that has the first of our two galleries. But what you'll find as you start to go through is that as you, as you move down through the building on these long ramps um, that, are, that, that are the main galleries, it's four levels. Four levels, Four so it goes levels. down, down, down. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you walk through this and, and have a good museum experience, you're into it for a couple hours. So it's gonna blow you away is the variety, the amount of stuff going on, and, and the sheer size. So in the theaters that you have downstairs, you actually do your own video production for the shows that are in there. Yeah, we work with a very talented um, um, uh, film crew out of out of Los Angeles, and yeah, we produce our own, we produce our own movies. We have three of them now. One is on the uh, launch of the uh, museum, another one featuring a, a, a collector who was, um, uh, had a prominent uh, display here named Nicole Bulgari. And the last one I, I really like was on sounds, car sounds, people's memories and connections to car sounds. So yeah, we have a theater and we produce a new film in it um, uh, every year. Great. And then uh, what are some of the special type of events? Can like, for example, can people rent the whole place out and have a corporate events here? You know, that's an excellent question. Events are really important for us. And, and of course, for obvious reasons, it generates revenue, brings people in the museum, but it does an important thing and that surprises people. So somebody that might not be inclined to, to pick a, um, an automotive museum is the first place they're going to go and spend their time and money. They come in here, they see it, they're blown away and they come back. So events are an integral part of, the, of what we do, very important. Where do you see your guys' uh, venue in the future? What, what are some of the goals you have for the place? Well, you know, um, America's Car Museum is, um, in, our, in our minds, a national institution, so we don't see ourselves as just being from here in Tacoma. We have um, this campus that, that we mentioned that we work very hard on and um, invest a lot of money in and are learning all the time. You know, ask anybody who has a, a big business or a, a, a property like this, you learn over time just what can you do with it and what, how do people react. Um, but we ultimately seeing ourselves as a national institution. So what you'll see from us in the future is a continual expansion of the institution, including the private clubs that we have that are already located in Colorado, Kirkland, Washington, and an affiliate San Jose. So much going on here. Yeah. Now, do you have a website where the folks can go to to learn more? We okay. do. It's uh, lemaymuseum.org. Okay. And we're active on, of course, in, in all the right places, in Twitter and Facebook and, and so on. Have our own blog. Love it. Great for the whole family. Yeah, exactly. And uh, uh, seven family. days a week or? What's... Seven days a week. Okay. Rain or shine. Rain or shine. Scott, thank you so much. Patrick, thank you very much. Fascinating place you, you have here. Thank you. We have a really good time here and so do our guests. I can tell. This is a place to have some fun for the it whole family. Fun. It is fun. And thank you so much for being with us today. And until next time, just remember to enjoy. enjoy.